guys. There's a massive snow worm. I'm too scared. Whoa, ho, ho. Look at that. That is so big. Ah! I need to get that compost. Please get off. <laughs> Hey guys, I don't know how to get rid of this little worm. I need to get the compass in here. It was a nice surprise. I was scared. I was like, ah! I think I screamed. Look, look. Looks like a snake. Can't believe I'm this close. I, apparently, it's a lizard. How is this a lizard? Oh my days. You need to go. Okay, guys. That's a big pot. And I don't want to fill that pot completely with compost. So I'm going to fill it with some foot scrub, glass, glass, grass clipping, kind of a homemade compost like dirt, and then top it up with multi-purpose compost. And that's my Jerusalem artichoke, ready to go in. So let's do this. All right, there's going to be background noise. I can't do much about that. So let's start with a bit of compost. With compost and some grass clippings, so it's like cooking, really. <laughs> and then I'm gonna open um, one of my food bins. It's got, I don't know where I got it in it, honestly. Oh, it's got it in there. Here, oh, coffee grounds. Oh, look, you can see that. I don't know if you want to see that. To be honest with you. A bit more grass. A bit more compost. A bit more compost. I'm going to top it up with a multi-purpose compost. So that's about halfway. And I might plant some beans in here. I was going to put my Jerusalem artichoke in the ground. But if you've grown that before, you know what can happen. I don't have that much space for something like that to take over. So... It's a very cheap multi-purpose compost, so I don't know what it's going to be like. I might actually take the whole bag. Let's we'll see. Um, Let 
mean, I'm glad you guys have seen how I've created this. This will sink with time, but I can always just top it up with mulch, whatever I have around, grass clippings, that sort of thing. Um, my friend sent me three Jerusalem artichoke. Uh, when we did a seed swap, I've got a video on that. And this is it. I potted it because I didn't have space at the time. Oh, I like now I can work with the dirt, it's not so smelly. The, this is on the sunflower family, I believe. All right. There we go. Whoa. I wonder if I can still separate it. Should I just leave it? Oh. Okay, I think I might just leave it, guys. So I don't disturb it too much. And hopefully, you can feed on the, you know, as the stuff decompose. I'm gonna go put some beans around there. Use that stick. No, that's not a good stick. <laughs> so I've got here my label Jerusalem Art Joke. I will remember what it is, anyways. I'm really pleased. Before I water this down, I wanna go find some seeds. My beans, I wanna grow some beans here. As you can see, there's a lot of space here. So, Oh, that was kind of rewarding, fulfilling, satisfying, that's the word. <laughs> to finally put, put this in a pot, a really good sized pot as well. Um, yeah, so let me go find that beans. Oh, that's looking good, guys. So I found butter beans and these beans, I don't know what it is. It might be bolotti beans, I don't know. My friend gave these two to me. I bought these seeds. Look, the difference in size. I just grabbed two and I'm look, that is double that. Anyways, I'm just gonna stuff this here, two, two at this end, and then two at this end. And I'm just gonna water this good and we've done. It's not um frost forecast. I think I've had my last frost, but you just never know in May what might happen. So, just give us a good watering. I think this is off to a good start, guys. What do you think? Give it a thumbs up if you agree. Yeah. Looks quite healthy. And, um, That's a whole watering can, I've just given it. And um, that should be sufficient, I think. That's it, guys. Screen both garden here. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.